the names go all the way around. This placard that's in the middle. And then something about the river basin. You're standing at the site of the original San Antonio ritual or burial ground. More than 500 of French towns earliest residents were buried here between 1795 and 1830 adjacent to the original San Antonio Parish Church in 1929 a new parish church was built two miles east of the, the site and a new cemetery was established so it's basically the information we had earlier the two tablets on this monument Facing the river basin contained the surnames of those who were buried and were these surnames were taken from San Antonio Parish records, including among the buried here are veterans of the American Revolutionary War and the War of eighteen twelve. I tells you how historic this is. It's kinda actually really kinda cool. These are the names. Oh wow. I see recording. Is, is and there are also the ones that we now? that are buried in the cemetery. These are the names. It says there's more, but they don't have the names of all of them. And those known only to God. Wow. This is an incredible oh, amount of history. How old do you think this is? It's set and then the town was settled. From the seventeen hundreds. Okay, I'm gonna help them out. I'm gonna get off okay, the we are not lost. We're geocaching. Right. It goes all the way around. Cool piece what of history. You never know what you're gonna find. Uh, it says, "Don't blink, or you'll drive right past this geocache." This geocache leads you to the historical burial site for Merle's earliest residence. Blah 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 blah. Don't be respectful. Blink. This is the original site of the. This is the site of the original St. Antonine burial ground. More than 500 of the French town's earliest residents were buried here between 1795 and 1830, adjacent to the original St. Antone Parish Church. In 1829, a new parish church was built two miles east of this site, and a new cemetery was established at the same time. Where is the... Where the typed in back for the new North Monroe Street. Over time, the early cemetery was lost. It was rediscovered in 1999 when several graves were uncovered during the construction of a newer subdivision. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Community, a community consensus quickly developed that the remains and the community's founders should not be disturbed and at this historic place should be preserved. First to find hooked on you. Congratulations. What geocache location is this? GC what? GC 60C8B. And we're in the city of Monroe. City of Monroe. Here in Michigan. Let's go find it. I won't forget it this time. Not like some people. Are you okay, Mom? Yeah. Are you recording? So do we have the bag yet? Nope. I'm grabbing it. I had to go. Hi Nash. You're not coming with us? Oh, I don't know. Why is that one? I think this might be the last show trash of the day. I don't know. Oh then that's a pretty. That's a pretty. <laughs> that is pretty. Yep. A little memorial. 
So this is a historic cemetery. Yep. Did it say how old the graves were that or the settlers uh, were there? It says seventeen eighty eight on that. What is this place called? Yeah, it's, yeah, a it's a marker. Because there's a lot of graves here that don't have markers anymore. Don't have markers anymore. Lost the time. We got a placard here. With the bushes hiding. Oh, there's, uh, I guess, the founder, uh, Franquis Velaquat, Continental Line Revolutionary War, February 10, 1754, January 5th, 1810. They say she was born February 10th? Is that what you said? Right. You're supposed to pay attention. Yes, February 10th. We share the same birthday. February 10th? Alright, so it says it's 23 feet this way. Well, if you're going to say walk this way, aren't you supposed to like, do the Egyptian walk? No. Let me see. Walk this way. I'm doing all the way. Guys. I don't know how to do it, but I'm doing it. Probably doing it really wrong, but. So it says I'm two feet away at this point, so. They didn't put the waypoints next to it for sure. They wanted to be a little difficult. Now this is a mate feet. So they put the coordinates right out in the middle. So yeah, why don't you check that way? I'll double check this flagpole. You can check underneath the bushes. Can I check out the black? Is it a micro or? It is a yeah, it's a small. Well, that was quick. Can I? Can I be the one that opens this? Let me see what's inside. More squish pennies. No, those high. Two monies. Wait. Oh, like you. Stamp Coop, just grab out Dad the stamp. Okay. Looks like he's going fishing. Okay, he's going across the street. So we'll do it. Alright. Coop, can you do me a favor? Run to the car. Okay. Grab me and I switch to the other cut seat so I can see what's in my job. Yeah. So I didn't really pay much attention to my job. Is this what I got? Is this what you got? It says, Glory to my shed for the show, not want. Do you have that penny? Nope. That's the Lord's Prayer. Yeah. Did Cooper have that? I shall lie in green pastures. Well, this is cool, and um, so I collect squish pennies. So run across oh these with the squish pennies and stuff in it. It's pretty cool. Put my two hobbies together. He did. You can get what I got. Uh, and that's the one you have. It's the same one. Yeah, we'll put yours back in your pocket. I will. I would, we'll just go with the cool one. I like cool. One. Is this the same thing too? This is the this is cool. You want to take a mayonnaise? You said you wanted it. Do it, dear. I want this. You want that? I put that inside. 
Well, you can keep the bow. I don't think the bow will fit in there anyways. Let's see. I got stuff to stick in there. Can I see? So what do you think? Good. Me? Um, I think it's beautiful. I think it's yeah, one. I always saw it would be in the American flag. I think we saw it. I like finding history, you know that. The fact that this is a found cemetery from the 1700s is pretty freaking awesome. Mom, do you want a flower? No, thank you. No, thank you.